And welcome back guys, Gvids here. Today we are in Stillwater Creek and it's one of my favorite little spots to stop in here and we're going to want to come to this location here guys. Uh, this is not a spot where you're going to want to hang out all day by any means, but if you are a stroll definitely want to swing in here, whip your fishing rod out, let some fish spawn in, and you're just going to kind of run around the little pond here and knock them out of the water, and we're going to be able to collect them off the ground. Super easy and super fun to do. A uh, little bit of a change. As you see, we're getting some nice, uh, I think they're largemouth or smallmouth bass. We're going to be picking up largemouth bass. And we're going to get a whole bunch of other little guys here. Now keep in mind guys, I know everyone's going to ask me, oh they're only one star now though, they've patched that. Uh, no they have not. Uh, once the fish actually go into your satchel, they do turn into a three star again. So you guys have no worries there, you can uh, definitely pick them. This guy's kind of glitched there. Oh, there he is, starts moving now. Get him out of the water. But anyways, we're just going to kind of walk around here and knock the fish out of the water. You can actually use your rod too. Uh, depends on how you're feeling, but I like to kind of do this. Gives you a little bit more things to move around on. But you can let the fish line up along the edges. I personally don't suggest that though. Uh, mainly because they do will sink into the mud or you'll actually have them float away on you and you might lose a few. So it's best just to kind of pick them up as you go. But we're going to get some chain pickerel uh, some redfin pickerel, some rock bass, largemouth bass, bluegill. Uh, there's a quite a big range of fish in this little pond here. Um, so if you spend some time, you could actually make a little bit of money doing it. But it's definitely just a spot to swing in here uh, when you're strolling by doing some collecting or hunting or whatever. If you're in the area, definitely stop in and just do a few laps within here after you've cast it in. And uh, definitely pick up a few little fishies on the way. Uh, I definitely do it every time I come by, and uh, you know what? I can usually make a good 20 to $30. But anyways, guys, I really hope this video helped you out at all. If it did, make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.